Okay, hey, good. All right, so we pressed out the seal on this, uh, and I'm not gonna be able to show you because I've actually scratched up this housing a little bit, but our number six fender, which was moving up and down a lot, if I install the bearing down to where it sits inside the housing, um, instead of the bearing being like a light press fit where the outside of the bearing would stay still and the inside of the bearing would spin like this, it was actually possible for the outside of the bearing to spin in the journal. It wasn't really, really bad wear, but it was enough wear that I can't send the head out and trust that uh, it's gonna work for a whole year and not turn into a warranty repair and additional downtime for the customer. So that's one reason why this head is gonna fail. Um, but fortunately for us in this example, there's another reason this head is gonna fail as well. Uh, if we come over to the rear housing, you remember that, that all of these wave washers were broken. And on the rear housing, if you look down in here, there's a quick telltale indicator. And we've got this circular wear mark in the top of the spindle spot. And if you look here without the grease, I've got a similar wear mark there. And you can see the wear mark in the grease here um, and in the grease here. And if I take a nice flat edge um, like a screwdriver and I feel this lip down inside, which probably you can see on that side better, there's wear and tear on this shoulder, which is what carries all the thrust of the spindles. So if I build this head again, that spindle is always gonna have play that it was never meant to have because the top of this shoulder is worn in and the bearing race has pressed into it. It's just been driven so many times over the years of production um, that it's worn out, which is, you know, that's, that's normal wear and tear for a multi-spindle head. Um, it does happen eventually to all heads. Um, this head is probably on the verge of 20 years old if it's not 20 years old already. So it's seen a good lifespan, um, but at this point to fix this head, we would have to replace all the gears, all the bearings, and the housing. And at that point, they would still have an old head <laughs> um, that, you know, the, whatever components we could save from this have had a long wear and tear life. Um, we don't see any signs that this head was ever rebuilt before, uh, but unfortunately, they let it go a little too long with the spindles moving up and down. Uh, another check we would do on a head is to feel all the sides of the bearing journals because sometimes you'll have a bearing that froze up and it'll wear out a part of the journal but it might not wear on all the sides it might only wear on one side because that's the direction the torque pushes that particular spindle um, and without knowing it the best bet is just to feel all the way around or to look now i'm doing this field test right here and right here i can feel that this journal is worn and that the lower bearing has has uh, worked out um, the material and so that that journal fails um, the long and the short of it is this head it had a good long run but it's time for it to be replaced the housing is worn out the gears are damaged from the bearing failure um, the spindles have some damage as well so we're going to call this one a wash and it's also a good training exercise thanks and have a nice day